what is meant by slag bus this they will be asking you in the questions what is slag bus or in the uh, objective part also you'll be getting this question okay just have an overview of this let's see a bus at which the magnitude and phase angle of a bus voltage are specified is known as slag bus see i said the magnitude as well as phase angle okay if these two are specified then it is called as this is called as slag bus this is called slag bus okay if see a bus at which the magnitude and the phase angle of the bus voltage are no are specified or known then it is called as slag bus that's what it is see magnitude and phase angle of bus voltage are specified it is known as slag bus next the voltage angle of this bus acts as difference for the voltage angles of all other buses we said voltage angle right the phase angle so this voltage angle of this uh, bus whatever you will get it is taken as difference for other voltage angles okay and for all other buses also so this voltage angle is difference hence this bus is also called reference bus remember the slag bus is also called as reference bus or it is also called as swing bus also this is also called as swing bus don't be confused if we'll ask you what is swing bus don't think it is something out of syllabus or anything it is slag bus only okay understood right a bus whose magnitude and phase angles are known then it is called slag bus so that known voltage angle is taken as reference angle and for all other voltage angles of the other buses also so this is also called as reference bus why why do we need this slag bus is see we have power generated right power generation will be based upon the demand now based upon demand they will generate the power so generation is according to that demand there will be some losses also when we use this slag bus by using this voltage differences we can understand the how much generation can be done based on the demand and the losses generation is equal to demand plus losses so in a power system power generation is known whereas mind the power demand it is necessary to determine the transmission losses right see power generation they know how much to generate but how to determine the how we will tell that power demand is more or less in certain area or in certain place how you will know is based upon this transmission losses how much losses you are getting based on that you will uh, determine the power generation so power generation is equal to power demand plus losses okay for this purpose what they have done is a new bus known as slag bus or reference bus is introduced into the system all right the main purpose of this bus is to supply for transmission line losses by balancing the real and reactive powers so by by using this purposes we will analyze the transmission losses and we will also balance the real and reactive powers p and q understood i hope this is very very clear what is slag bus right understood i guess next various methods of solving load flow solutions so like we said these load flow solutions there are four methods okay first is gauss method next is gauss serial method next newton raphson method next is fast decoupled load flow method okay in this first unit he will uh, probably ask you what is slag bus or reference bus next among this four methods he will ask you any any either of any of this one or a or b sections he can take and he can ask you so here i'll tell you what is meant by all these uh, buses uh, sorry all uh, all these methods in a detailed way okay now see first we will see wh what is this gauss serial method okay see one more overview i'll show you gauss serial method newton raphson method and fast decoupled method okay leave this gauss method the rest 2 3 4 so these are applicable to power systems which consists of real and reactive pq and pv buses okay that is load bus and generator bus so this method this you can get in your objectives also okay this method is applicable to the power uh, systems which consists of pq and pv buses that is load and gener uh, generator buses 
okay gauss method the first method that is used only for load bus okay load bus is pq only for pq remember this these three methods are for load and generator gauss method is only load see if he asked you this question at least this one gauss seidel method what is gauss seidel method and derive the equation or something okay for if you have not prepared what you have to do is first think write about the power, what is meant by load flow solution the first thing what i explain okay the solutions okay that is called as load flow method so you write this there are four methods okay next write gauss seidel method it is you are applicable to power system with kinds of pq and pv methods if it is gauss method is asking right it is only applicable for load bus only at least one point i mean one mark you can get in this one instead of uh, unattempting that question just try to write something i request everyone to just complete each and every question or at least answer each and every question in your paper not only this subject any subject to pass in btech you have to answer all your questions even though you know or you don't know you know anything from the unit at least write that for that question even if it is not linked also okay try to write attempt all the questions i am telling you surely you will pass okay all the best come let's go back to the next topic see advantages and disadvantages of gauss seidel method so advantages it requires less memory space it is suitable for small systems it requires less computation time per iteration programming is simple as number of arithmetic operations required are less very easy memory is less memory space less means obviously small system that means it is suitable for small system if it is having less memory space and so suitable for small obviously it requires less computation only okay per iteration so programming is also simple because the number of uh, operations are less because the computation is time is also less next disadvantages of this one is it is not suitable for large systems yes opposite to this one i mean small systems large systems not suitable it requires more number of iterations to reach convergence see generally it requires less only but to reach convergence it requires more iterations the convergence rate is low the slack bus has effect on convergence slack bus will affect here the convergence so convergence is nothing but the where all the nodes will come and meet at one point all the buses will come and meet at one point no so that point is called as convergence okay 